ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Life After video. A new update has dropped. We got a new AR, which is the Buy OT Spider Venom Rifle, something like that. And this is a weird one, dude. You have to repair the formula once you obtain the formula. How weird is that? I have never, ever seen such thing added in the game, but apparently this is something new that they did. I got my feds ready, boys. I believe people spend from 3,000 to 5k to 7k, and I hope my luck isn't shit, and I will get it, you know, maybe less than 5k, hopefully, because my cohab got it under 4k, and that's just lucky, bro, lucky, so we're gonna be dropping this, and we can free refresh, but I'm not gonna do that, and there's some other things they added uh, in this update, but mainly just this rifle, I guess. There's some small tweaks and also they changed the camp, but you know, I'm not playing in C servers. I do not see the new camp design. All the manor is going to be in the middle here and you know, they're going to change the camp design. But again, I'm not in the test server. It's only for C servers, so I can't check that out. Let's go to Lucky Hunt and I guess let's just draw five times. Boom. Don't remind me again today and roll, roll, roll. Um, can we skip this, dude? Because this is gonna take a while. We got skill points, we got bulletproof ceramic, um, uh, auto learn new formula. We don't need that. I'll just click skip, I guess. Okay, we got Garbo. Let's click skip and see what we get. So, okay, there we go. We didn't get anything good. We got pens. I will need these pens for my drone. That is 500 feds, 750. All right, 1k, still nothing. Okay, so it's gonna take a while. Because obviously we need like 3 to 4k, so I'm just gonna keep pressing roll and roll. And with these pins, I will modify my med chip because I got now like what 10 crafts on my med chip. Let's go. So we wasted almost 2k feds now. Let's go again. Okay, let's go again. It is not coming out. Probably need like 1k more. Nope, still not here. Again. Alright, so we can claim these things. I'm gonna claim freaking press claim on that. And obviously I can claim another one from here. But dude, I hope I get it under the 120 rolls. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. That's nice. I also we got a Howie. That's cool. So yeah, we got a Howie. That's nice. And we can select either the type 95 or the new AR. Obviously, well, you wanna choose the uh you don't want to choose type 95 unless you don't have any type 95s, but if you're a whale, dude, I'm pretty sure you have over 300 type 95 crafts, man. So let's claim the spider venom rifle, dude. Boom. And again, you have to repair this. Now, I don't know what happens if I click dismantle. I really don't want to click this, man. I am not sure, like, what's going to happen, so I'll just click repair. And uh, yeah, you got to repair this thing. One craft of type 95 is 10 points. Now... Um, one craft of this is 30 points, and one craft of Snowy is 30 points also. And I believe if you get a CE Type 95, one craft is 100. Now the thing is, with this rifle, if you get a Snowy, then you will need, I think, 300 points to repair it. So that means you will need 30 crafts to repair this rifle. And then if you get the CE Spider Venom Rifle Collector's Edition, then you will need 1,000 points. And 1,000 points is converted to 100 Type 95 craftables. So you will need to sacrifice... You know, so that means you got to get 10 formulas of type 95 and 10 is 100 crafts and 100 crafts is converted into a thousand points because obviously you get one formula when rolling the type 95 and one formula gives you 10 crafts and again 10 crafts is converted to 100 points. So this is what it is. I'm going to convert all of my like if you take a look right now, I have 68 crafts of my type 95. It doesn't let you do it. You actually have to do it instantly. So yeah, there we go. It's gonna use, it's gonna be 58 now. So click repair and there we go. If we check the workbench right now, it has 58 crafts. So that's how you get your formula, ladies and gents. But every single time you get it, you have to repair it. I am pretty sure. So, okay, we got that. We also have a Howie. That's a big plus because I can literally, you know, make some gold out of that. So, yeah, if you go to weapon and evolution gear, scroll down to this spider when I'm, um, we can upgrade this. I'm going to just go yoink this all the way up. And you need alloy nuts for this. It's obtained from factory. I believe 
of course it's obtained from factory where else is it obtained from for the starting up it's the same concept 200 shards for one star then 1k blah 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 and it thinks the shards just go up and i just one star this accidentally i didn't mean to one star this but whatever dude we get compilation from this now as for the lucky hunt i could be rolling till i get 120 but i feel like that's a waste i don't want to roll more i just don't need it like what is the point why would i roll for more also we have a uh, 500 points so i'm just gonna spin all these mangoes for 50 shards bruh now once you get the basic formula for the spider venom of course you can click refresh until you get collector's edition spider venom but dude holy crap this thing this is a weird thing like repairing the formula why did the devs think of that but anyways you can get rid of the type 95s if you have like 300 crafts so i mean that's a good thing but for free to play players they have to get the type 95 formula but yeah i don't know if the ce is worth it i'm not gonna be rolling for that no thank you all i need is the basic formula and I guess since I've got the 20 pens, as I told you guys, luckily I got a medical chip, so I'm just gonna roll this. I got decontamination, and hopefully I can get a smart aid and decontamination. That is gonna be the best drone I can possibly get. Let's try modifying these, modifying these stats, and boy, we got decontamination and durability, but this is garbage. Literally, input power is 26, we don't want that. Hopefully, I will get smart 8 and decontamination. Let's try. We got 12 pens left. Is this going to happen? And nope, it's not going to give me good stuff, dude. Nope. Nope. We're not getting it. No, we got three rolls left. So two and yeah, we got one roll left. Last one. Boom. Trash. We got garbage, dude. That was what? 10 rolls, dude. And we didn't get anything. And then we got some R&D. This thing needs 600 R&D to modify, by the way, so... Yeah, this is the only Evolve gear from level 60. There is no other Evolve gear from level 60. The rest is from level 15. But since I got that R&D, let's modify our Leech of Shotgun. Boop. Maybe we get some good stats. Of course we won't. It's really expensive to modify this gun. And since it's from level 60s, you won't find it in level 15. So as you can see, this is the first gun to be come a evolve gear in level 60. And for that, you will need level 60 gear, which is engineering plastic and so on. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this one. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this update and what do you think about this rifle. I think it's going to be good and it's going to beat the FAMAS because obviously it evolves. And since this is evolve meta right now, I mean, you have to have all your evolved gears because these formula machine items that you get will get outdated and then get obsolete. So, you know, you got to roll for this. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching once again. Peace out.